Hey, Chris Matthew here from Skynet. Remember the drones uh, demonstration where we connected three drones here, right here, to uh, Skynet and we're controlling them with a leap motion? One of these little leap motions? That was an awesome demo. Um, but what I what I want to talk about was all of the the analytical data, the the, the big data behind sensors and behind uh, events on on an Internet of Things network. Um, thanks to Brian Gilmore, he helped us uh, connect uh, the Skynet log files to an instance of Splunk, uh, Splunk server. So. I don't know if you're familiar with Splunk server, but it is freaking awesome. It is like Google for log files. It's uh, it allows you to do real-time analytics uh, and do queries against against data, look for trends, uh, even you know even potentially react on trends, and it's got a full API on top of it. Um, so this let me show you let me show you kind of what it looks like. So um, here's Splunk. Uh, so you've got your search bar up here. You can uh, put in particular types of queries, look at fields uh, in your, your log file, and uh, Skynet's log file is JSON. So it just feeds it right into here, and we can, we can see all the data that's going on. So um, what this is telling me is uh, the, the uh, average flight time. So you see earlier in the week I was playing with it quite a bit. Um, on Monday, looks like I, I just had uh, 18 flights. See, yeah, it says 18 events, and then today um, I've had 15 uh, flights or events. So um, what I'm doing is I'm basically just uh, the drones are in the box. I'm basically uh, playing with the leap motion connected to Skynet, and then um, the the application that controls um, uh, the the drones. Uh, running in Node.js uh, here in this console log. So uh, remember, if you go here to this this site, uh, well, if you it's uh, Node Leap Copters uh, on the Skynet uh, IM uh, repo on GitHub. You can play with these drones yourself. But uh, as you stick your hand, let me try to get back. As you stick your hand into the uh, Leap Motion, remember uh, it takes off. It, it will take, uh, see on the left pane it says take off. Now we can do things like, you know, move up, move down. We can spin them, <laughs> circle. See, so so the, the browser is the commands from the leap motion going up to uh, Skynet. And then the uh, the right console, or the, the, the console log on the left is the commands coming down from Skynet to control the drone. So when I move my hand, it should say land. There, so landing and land. Now um, that's important because uh, when we look at the Splunk logs, <laughs> that leap motion is pretty sensitive. You get anywhere near it, and it starts uh, issuing commands. And we run this thing again, this query. This is all live in real time, so it's streaming uh, uh, Skynet log files into an instance of Splunk in real time, and it's looking. See, you can already see Friday's grown to 55 events. Um, you can see that. Uh, we're looking for a start switch of takeoff and an end switch of land, and then all the events in between that. Uh, so you can see right here at uh, on January 17th at 10:12. Uh, looks like that's uh, Eastern time. It captured um, it captured this this uh, series of flights, um, but you can you can also see like you know you scroll through here and say oh this this looks like an interesting flight here. 283 uh, uh, lines of captured, so you can see every event that went um, from the leap motion on that flight session uh, down to the um, down to uh, the drones, uh, and you can do all sorts of analytics on on top of this this data. Um, so pretty cool. I th we're, you're going to see a lot more to come on, on uh, big data capabilities uh, using uh, Splunk servers uh, connected to your Internet of Things Skynet platform. All right?